As you know, last night I made a video uh, and it's called Tell Me How Your Hair Loss Has Actually Limited You. And so I wanted to, people to share stories. Now, that not a whole lot of video, people have seen that video yet, but people have already responded. And what I predicted in the video, I said, I think if anything, the stories people will share will be people telling us these grandiose stories, how, you know, like the guy whose girlfriend broke up with him after a year because he was going bald and she said he was so ugly. Well, I said, in reality, there were other issues and she just used that as a dagger to get rid of the guy. But there were, the issues were fundamental and they had nothing to do with hair. But now instead, and, and I'm sure those stories are to come, but instead, so far, what I've received is I've had people telling me stories in which uh, basically family members called them out on their hair loss. Like a guy who sat down with his family and he had shaved his head because he was going bald and his grandmother gave him a hard time about it. Why'd you do this? Why'd you do this? He had beautiful hair. And they said, actually, look at this spot in the back. Look at this. Look at this. I'm actually losing my hair. To which he says, oh yeah, you're right. And of course, that goes back to a video I've already made talking about how uh, older women don't like when men buzz their head uh, or shave their head. They don't like it. It's a generational thing. They fundamentally don't like it. My mom doesn't like it when I buzz my head off, my, my hair off. Though most people love it, my mom doesn't like it. Um, my my employer, she she's an older woman. She doesn't like it either, and she's very vocal to tell me that. So it's interesting though that we're basing this around how an older generation and demographic and gender looks at this, or. And it's funny because even when I was age 25, I, age 25, uh, I had, I, I was, I remember I met my grandmother for lunch with my dad and out of nowhere, I mean, I'm in the middle of eating a sandwich out of nowhere. My grandmother who's sitting across from the table says, Nick, you starting uh, to have a receding hairline? You look like your hairline's going up. And at that point I, I was just starting to really get the Norwood too, where it's more of a V and less of a, of a three, you know? because it's still rounded up here. Back then it was just more from flat, just going up a little bit on both sides and that's all it was. It was so unnoticeable, but she made a point out of nowhere. It wasn't related to the conversation. She made a point to say that to me in front of my dad during lunch. I just wanted to hang out with my girlfriend and that's what she had said. It didn't bother me though, that's the thing. I've been confident about my hair loss even going back a decade, so I didn't care. But the thing is, I asked a question, I, I was basically saying, I believe it's an irrational fear that we're so worried about hair loss. In reality, how are we actually going to be held back in life? What's this actually going to do to us? And so far, the video response, the comments I've got on that video, I've, had, I've yet to hear one major issue that actually limits anyone. Instead, it's about people noticing their hair loss. Oh no! They're going to notice? See, I'm confused how that's a, a rational fear. I already said, I already proposed, my theory, hair loss is an irrational fear. Just like death. It would be irrational to go your whole, whole life worrying about death. So most of us don't. Most of us watching these videos are more worried about losing their hair than us at some point dying and not knowing exactly what happens afterwards because we can't know for sure. But when it comes to hair loss, we freak out about this. Wouldn't we agree that fearing death is ultimately an irrational fear because we know it's coming? But yet it's, what, is it not irrational to worry about hair loss? See, that's, that's, uh, that's us getting our priorities mi mixed up. I mean, I'll keep looking for comments on that video, waiting for a story to tell me how their life fell apart and they didn't get something they really wanted or needed in life because they didn't have enough hair. I mean, I'm still waiting for that comment. Instead, it's people, here's what I predict now. I predict that the only comments I'm gonna get, apparently, are gonna be people telling me how someone publicly noticed that that person was losing their hair. Which I've already made a video about that because I said, the best thing you can do when someone acknowledges it is for you to completely own it and take it to the next level. Say, so, yeah, you know what? I, get, I, I, sh I drew the sh shortest straw. I'm the guy that gets to, uh, uh, embrace my baldness sooner than other guys, right? So I guess I'll just be the bald guy and you'll laugh it off and then it takes that glory away from the person bringing it up because oh, well, this isn't any fun. He's acknowledging it. Okay, and then it, conversation over with. You come out as the man on top, the, the confident man, and that's it. So 
irrational fear. You, so far, you as a, a YouTube audience, 553 of you, have proven to me that I, I'm right. Hair loss is an irrational fear. And it is all just in your head. Because if I asked you a question, which I did, tell me a story proving how hair loss has limited your life in some way. And that's all you can give me is to say that people saw it and that your confidence was limited. So your confidence is just based on your hair anyway. Yeah, I mean, it's an irrational fear. So here's what I propose to you. I propose to you the fundamental issue is this. Either, you got two choices. Either you do something about your hair loss. You get Propecia. You get some kind of drugs. You get whatever kind of prescription drug you need. Or you shave your head and, you, and you're the bald guy. You get a hair transplant. You get tattoo pigment. You do something. That's your first choice. Do something about your hair loss. Got it? That's your first option. Or accept your hair loss. That's it. I mean, I, I'm, I keep trying to run you guys off from my channel. You, know, you would think in theory that my viewership, my subscribership would be shrinking. That instead of growing every month, it would be shrinking. I mean, I've, I've gained 50% subscribers just in 2017 alone. And I'm telling you good stuff that should make you go away. You're like, oh yeah, he's right. Okay, I'm not worrying about this anymore. That should be what happens. I'm confused on why people are gathering and staying here on my channel because it's really that simple. If you don't like the fact you're losing your hair, I think enough of you have agreed in the comments, you can do something about your hair loss now. I've already named all those options and while none of them are perfect, you can do them. You can do them or you can accept it like I am and still be a confident guy and just say, yeah, at some point that's me. Like, it's really that simple. <laughs> Either do something about it or accept it. And I think the problem that so many of you have is that you're not willing to make a decision. You're not willing to choose one or the other. So instead, you're stuck in this purgatory, this, this human hell, where you just make yourself cast in the fire. I'm the bald guy, I'm the bald guy, what am I gonna do? I already told you, there's options to do, or you accept it. You're never gonna be happy, you're never gonna be fulfilled until you do one of those two things. Do something about it, or accept it. Until then, you're not gonna be happy. This is gonna continue forever and you're gonna keep watching my videos even though I'm basically seeing the same thing in every video in a different light. Okay, got it? So, I'm still waiting to find out how hair loss has actually limited somebody. I'm still gonna keep saying, it's all in your head, do something about it or accept your hair loss. There's nothing in between except for what you're experiencing now because you haven't made up your mind which thing that you're gonna do.